it's time to say goodbye to Macombi. Really liked it here, really nice place, but it's not the end. So I'm heading this afternoon to their bush camp. It's called the Fig Tree Camp. And I will be there for four nights. That's gonna be cool too. I have made it to the fig tree bush camp that's run by Mukambi Safari Lodges. And one of the things that I was absolutely terrified of when uh, I was coming here was have I built it up too much? Are my expectations way too high? No. <laughs> this place is amazing. It is like a five star bush camp in the middle of Kafui National Park. There's only four tents here and they're all tree houses. They're all built in the trees, which is so cool in itself. So it's a very more intimate experience. And I can see how it's not going to be for everybody because it's very remote. It's very bush campy, but everything is beautiful. And it's like a luxury bush camp, I guess. I've already seen a puku running around on the other side of the uh, pool. Apparently they've had lions here the last few nights. And hippos will show up as well. And where I'm coming to right now is the main area. And apparently my understanding is get some critter shows happening after dark. There is a fire pit up here. This is the sitting and dining area. I mean, this is in itself, it, it, it's just so basic, but it's perfect for what you expect here for a bush camp. It's actually more than kind of what I would expect it. And now I'm going to go down this way. Outhouse. Looks like a traditional outhouse, but it's flushable. Okay, we're almost there. And I think what I need to do we're going to turn camera around. So here, so you can hear birds are starting to chirp. And there were monkeys running around here a little while ago. Not sure where they ran off to. Oh, there they are <laughs> on the other side. Look at this hammock.
giving you this view of Africa, which country. We got water all around us, which I was told to be careful because they had a big crock just laying about on this uh, sand. Oh, there goes uh, Pickney. And the monkeys were just running around over here. It's just, and there's the main area, and there's our hammock. I think one of the other things that is just blowing me away right now, and, and even though there are only four tents here, so they can only handle a maximum of eight people at a time, which in itself is amazing that you're never going to be overcrowded. For the next two days, it's just me. I am the only one here. I have a staff guide all to myself. And that in itself also is just absolutely amazing. I don't even know what to, what to say about that. I'm so looking forward to the next uh, three days. See what we see. But this is just so cool. I... <laughs> You're going to have to scrape the smile off my face for the next few days. <laughs>
relay for you. Okay, Charlie, my relay from uh, Alpha is that the lions are towards victory from the hippo pool side. So I guess that's number two. Two vultures in the tree behind us. And there's three more lions behind us. And they've just killed a roan antelope. Which I blame Aaron for. <laughs> so the sun's just setting here in Kafui and we just had an absolutely incredible experience. Uh, Pride of Four Lions had taken down a roan antelope and we were about two meters away of the lion going to town, shall we say. Uh, I will post the video. It's a little graphic. Um, I still can't believe the noise were so close. We could hear the sounds of them crunching on the bones. So that's what's coming up next. So if you don't want to see a little gore, don't watch. No. Mm -hmm. 